Before I get too far, I just want to say that this was originally made by all the people shown on this little credits text file here. I just want to give credit to them before we get too far into this. So, uh, who is this? Derek Gallant and Eric Franz Cow Franz Koyak and Becky Allen and then Blizzard for soundtrack stuff and design inspiration. So there's a bit of history to this, and uh, let's not say that. Uh, so in 2008, I think it was. Uh, in 2008, I think it was. Blizzard had made an April Fool's joke about releasing a standalone, might have been 2009, 2010, a standalone Molten Core World of Warcraft experience, and they, you know, they do a lot of great April Fool's jokes, and someone, at some point, had the great idea of actually just, um, making a standalone Molten Core experience, uh, and they did, so they made a standalone Molten Core, that is something you might see on the Atari... Uh, let's say 2600 or so, um, a console released, was the 2600 in the 70s? Very early 80s or 70s, I eh? think 70s, I'm um, before my time, but anyway, so here we go. So let's play through it, it's just, just for fun, I don't have high expectations, but we'll see. Uh, super, sure. You may have noticed that uh, you could play as two players if you wanted, which is actually really cool. Um, you use the player on the left will use like the WASD keys and the player player two will use the numpad keys. So if you have a friend or spouse or whatever you can play together. Um, it's actually I haven't really played this at all. I I, I basically made sure I could make a character and that's as far as I got. Uh, you can pick from all nine classes in vanilla well or soon to be classic well and um, Kind of just going through them so you can see what the, what's in there, but I'm not going to read everything. I think I'm going to go with the rogue, as I tend to play rogue anyway. Poison strike. What is poison strike? I guess you would just say it's a melee attack or your poison procs. Fan of knives, which I don't think existed in vanilla anyway. Maybe this was made later on. Maybe it's like Burning Crusader later. Um, stealth, backstab, kidney shot. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, right, okay. So WASD moves me around in cardinal directions. My health and energy, I guess, in the top left. Maybe two res, like, one-ups, like Mario, like lives. I think I have my... Oh, here we go, okay. So my hot bar is down at the bottom. Uh, that's a six, that's a poison strike. I guess I hit in the direction I last moved. Sweet fan of knives. Uh... Vanish. Well, now gray, so I guess that means I'm invisible. Um, spells. Okay, it's just information my spells. L is quest log. Speak with Tiros the Explorer. Speak with Tiros the Explorer by using the Enter key, or move to the next map to begin your journey. Okay. Main menu and exit. Uh, Tiros. It is good to see if... Okay, so we can skip through that. Uh, by pressing Enter. So, alright. Uh... I'm in desperate need of your help. My fellow explorers Tigul and Kalgorn. Tigul, I recognize. I don't know if I recognize Kalgorn. I don't know about that. Um, they were heading to the center of the core, and that is where we need to look. But one does not simply walk into Lair of Ragnos. Okay. Lord of the Ring reference. Pretty cool. Uh, we will need help. There are eight runes scattered throughout core, and I need you to. Okay, I was going to say we need to douse the runes. Probably, yeah, douse them. I'll aid you when I can. If you're in any trouble. Okay, uh, Dallas the Eight Runes of the Fire Lord. Sweet, let's... Let's do this. Apparently I couldn't leave the zone, the room. When I was vanished, that was interesting. Oh, oh, okay. Um, so we get like a little bit of a pushback on these mobs when I hit them. It's great, we got three health potions now. I guess those are health potions. Not sure how much damage any of these abilities do. I guess I should, maybe should read my spell log. Okay, spamming poison strike is pretty useful. 10 energy, 1 second cooldown, strikes an enemy in front of the rogue. 30 energy, 4 second cooldown, throws a knife in every direction. Okay, that doesn't really tell me the damage though. My energy regens, not slowly, but um, 
not per tick, it just gradually. It's a big boy. Um, well, so we'll start off by saying. Okay, I'll grab, I guess, a mana potion, which I don't know. Can I just evade these guys? No, okay. So apparently, I either have to kill them, or at least once I'm in combat, I have to attack them. Sometimes when I poison strike them, they actually get bounced towards me, which is a little obnoxious. I'm trying to group them up. They haven't actually damaged me yet. Can they even damage me? Okay, they can. 10 damage I just took. Um, I obviously... Oh, and I regen out of combat. That's handy. Um, okay, here's the thing. I don't know if I need heal potions, but can I just vanish? Oh, sweet. Okay. Whoa, uh... Big boys here. Tyros, okay, this is not as bad as it looks. Gehennis is an oaf. So we're at Gehennis. Okay, so I need to go back the other way because I am missing Lucifron and I guess it's probably laid out like the Molten Core. So I'm missing Lucifron and the Puppers. Um, but his lackeys are protected by an impenetrable shield. Killing Gehennis is a key. Be careful of Gehennis though. When he runs the center of the room, he's preparing to channel a rain of fire with his fellow flamewalkers. The area near Gehennis will be safe. And that's where I'll need to be. Okay. Um, I see his health. That's nice. That's really handy. This is, uh... Ooh. Okay. I missed, I messed that up a little bit. Oh. Yikes. Uh, got him. Okay, so the rune. Sweet. Quest log update, what does that mean? One of ten, or one of eight. Um, so, I kind of just want to stealth through these things as much as I can. Alright, here we go. Lucy himself and his buddies. Alright, what has Lucy got for us? Uh, though he acts tough, Lucifron is as weak as they come and should prove to be a little challenge for you. Just be careful when he screams as it is unimaginably terrifying for no one near him, except his minions who are used to it. Okay. So maybe he does like a fear type of a thing. I'm gonna try and just focus down Lucy. I'm gonna try and get away from him. Okay, good. All right, I see how that works. So pretty simple mechanic. I don't know if these mechanics necessarily line up with what I think of as them actually doing. Uh, I mean, if you were to face them in Vanilla Well, but you know, what am I gonna say? It's a it's a free. This is a free game, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. This is not did not charge any money for this. I think it hasn't been updated in like eight years. All right, two of eight. So we're moving along pretty quickly here. That's nice. Uh, a Magmadar. There's, I guess there's not a lot of character models in this uh, small game. Magmadar, the pet of Ragnaros. The only thing you need to be worried about is the lava patches that he will summon around the room. Will that him biting your square head off? Okay. Apparently my head is square, which I guess is unsurprising. So actually... I think Fan of Knives does a lot of damage. Whoa. It seems to do a little more damage than just my Poison Strike ability, but not wildly more. Got him. And the Lava things are still going to bounce around. That's annoying. Okay. So, I actually really like the aesthetics of this. I, I never played the Atari. It was not... So, I, um, I grew up on the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. Oh god, I'm about to spit out my uh, water. I, did, I forgot there's mobs in here. Maybe I should have cleared this before I uh, went through here. At least they die pretty easily. I'm trying to do some fancy fan of knives stuff, but I don't really think there's any point to it. What if I use this potion? What does it do? Alright, regenerates energy. That's good to know. And it's a 30 second cooldown. Okay, cool. Can I... Alright, so this is probably where Ragnaros Slayer is to the right. Yeah, I remember this. This all makes sense. Pretty accurate. Ooh, Gar. Okay. Uh, Gar is nothing special without his Fire Sworn. But they're the key to defeating him and they sleep now. But Gar will call on them to heal him. If they do reach if they reach Gar, you will do that. They will do just that. Even worse, if they if he does not need to be healed, they will hurt you. Focus on Gar and deal with the Fire Sworn when he calls them. Okay easy enough so 
punch Gar in the head. I want to kind of center him if I can, right? So his fire sworn have a little further to go. Oh, okay, one shot. That's all. That's easy. I was worried there would be um. Like, uh, t be hard to kill, and then that'd be painful. I'm gonna save some energy, though. Uh, Alright, oh, oh, missed. Okay, got him. <laughs> Whoops, almost, uh, almost flubbed that. One more shot. Oh, I, I don't know if it's timed or if it's, um, health based, but I didn't quite kill him fast enough. Alright, so we've got four right down. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think. So, okay, the hallway leading into our buddy. Yep, here we go. Uh, Shazra. I always forget his name. Shazra is the definition of endurance. You will not be able to def you will not be able to defeat him by yourself. Being as powerful as he is with the arcane, he has the ability to teleport to anywhere in the room and cast an arcane explosion. The best way to defeat him is to turn his allies against him. When he summons a core bear, kill it. And when he's dead, skin it. Okay. Uh, sure, I don't think that's how you normally kill Shazra, but, um, alright, stand away from it, maybe? Corbear. I think Corbear is not... There we go, get him, Corbears. We're eating us some Shazra. I'm not really convinced that that's actually... Better than just, I guess it's better. Ooh. I'm gonna pop a heal potion because I don't know what else to do with all these heal potions. That is definitely not how I remember killing Shazra, I will say for sure. But I guess the difference is we don't have any ranged people with us, and normally, um, when I think of killing Shazra, I think of as a rogue doing very little. <laughs> like, honestly. I can at least ping him from a distance around here. But yeah, I feel as a rogue, Shazra is one of the more boring fights. Actually, I guess it could be really exciting if you're very <laughs> ballsy. Um, but normally I would say that as a rogue, you don't do a lot. And you just kind of hang in the distance, maybe use your bow, bandage people as necessary, possibly, which is probably not the most useful thing, but sometimes I would do that. Um, wait, should there be a mob here? Boss here? Baron Geddon. Oh yeah, I guess he patrols. Make, I usually fight Baron Geddon like in the room with Shaz Ra, to be honest. Like, I'll kill Baron Geddon first. Or not in the room, but maybe back to Gar will pull him, but I usually kill him before Shaz Ra. Okay, Baron Geddon is a powerful elemental and has many weapons at his disposal. Inferno, blasting everything around him, ignite, which will burn away at your resource. But none are as powerful as the living bomb. Geddon has the power to ignite your very soul, the living bomb. If that happens, you do not have long to live. When you engage him, I will freeze areas of the ground. Stepping on these areas will be the only way to get rid of the bomb. That's a reasonable way to handle the living bomb. Like, I don't know how you would do it otherwise, since he or is this a single player get an encounter, right? I liked that effect. Okay, there we go. Um, like the, uh, this thing. His little blast wave thing. But mainly what I need to do is focus on keeping the living bomb off of me as much as possible. I see what they say about him sapping my resources. Ooh, this is actually hitting me kind of hard. I'm gonna... Oh, oh. Okay, I think I gotta get rid of the living bomb. Got him. That was actually one of the tougher fights. That was definitely a little scary. Now, we should be on a, a thin walkway here. Oh, yeah, okay, right? That makes sense. We're overlooking the big boy there. And um, let's go and kill him. For, oh, let's go this way first. All right. Uh, Sulfuron is the most favored of the Flame Walkers, and as such, and as such, has an army of priest followers who will protect him at all costs. Your only chance of defeating him is to first defeat them. Uh, 
Okay. Stay away from the hand of Ragnaros. Let's start by killing his punk buddies. Oh my god. This is actually gonna take some finagling. <laughs> yeah, it's not difficult, but there is like a level of. Uh, oh, geez, I probably don't stand in that. It's probably bad. There is a level of um, weirdness in this. I'm not weirdness, but like. Focus required? Maybe let's say that focus. I'd like to grab that potion, but it's not urgent. Ooh. Okay, okay. I'm trying not to get cornered. Oh, I've got all my. I see. It's like I can't grab it anyway. I'm maxed out on potions. Apparently, nine is the most you can have. Alright, now we can kill Sulf himself because his priest entourage is defeated, which is good. We would always use line of sight and. I think we'd kill like one priest. This has been a long time since I really remember this strategy. And this is like literally retail vanilla strategy, not min-max private server strategies. Um, we would usually kill like one of the priests. And then I think just tank the other three the entire time. Because they didn't do a lot of damage. And just hide them out of line of sight of him. So they couldn't um, heal him. And that usually worked really well. Alright, so Furon wasn't so bad. It's kind of weird because I'm, I'm like doing this. I've got like one hand over here on the WASD and one hand on the... Because you can see uh, the 6, 7 on the hot, the skill bar down there, hot bar. 6, 7, 8. One more rune. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0 represent my hotkeys. Alright, let's... Uh... Alright. Golmag. Golmag the Destroyer. Okay, being as slow as he is, he will leave... The chasing to his core regers when they are defeated, Golmag will be weakened, and that will be your time to strike. Be careful of his pyroblast as well. It may be slow, but it is deadly. He will also stomp the ground to frighten you, but it may do the same to the core regers. Okay, so focus on the core regers. Nice. So I can like ping him from a distance. Oh, those guys are easy. All right. Uh oh God, what was that? Apparently he stomped to ground, and that's that's the stomping effect. That's really uh, frustrating. <laughs> okay, so it does also scare the core raiders, which is good. I wasn't sure how that mechanic would actually play out. I would basically lose control when I uh, when that purple color pops up. I have no control over my character anymore. I'm trying to get a fan of knives. Ugh. Fan of knives into both those guys, because fan of knives seems to do the most damage. And I'm also trying to position myself so I'm not feared too close to that pyroblast like that, because that really sucks. I'm going to pop a heal potion. Okay, I've almost got him. Unfortunately, I need to do one more of these rounds. Okay, okay. I guess, can I just whack him to death from here? Or do I need... I, I haven't really been paying attention. Okay, okay, cool. Not bad. Runes completed. May force Major Domo Executus to submit. The runes have been extinguished and Major Domo Executus... Executus? Executus. The right hand of Ragnaros stands before you. Show me your power by defeating... His chosen flamewalker guards, only then will he open the way to Ragnaros' lair. Okay, cool. I think I can do this. I wouldn't mind getting another heal potion. I feel like four heal potions is not the most I could ever have. Well, it's certainly not the most. Our plan has almost come to fruition. Only one step remains, and that is getting Executus to open the way for us. The right hand of Ragnaros himself is untouchable, but show him your strength by defeating his fellow flamewalkers, and it just might scare him enough to summon the Fire Lord himself. Okay, there's only four of them. I was thinking it was going to be eight. It's like, oh man, it's going to be tough to maneuver. I'm trying to get some good fan of, fan of knives action in there. Like, splash it around so it hits 
at least two of them at once. I feel like that's pretty effective DPS based on what we've seen. Um, it definitely does more damage. Oh, this is bad, this is bad. I'm getting cornered over here. Um, okay, one down. That's helpful. Okay, there we go. Much better. Now I can just... I probably could have done this the whole time. Just like, cornered them all and uh, push them away with Poison Strike. Oh, I was like, what's he doing? Teleporting. Quest log updated. Cool, yeah. Alright, Major Domo has opened the way to Ragnaros Lair. It is time to strike him down. Sweet. Let's go do it. Apparently that red wall is lava. <laughs> I just took damage for walking over that, and that's good to know. Could have just cut through there, though. Uh, Alright, I think I want to be on this... Oh, wait, which side is it? This side I want to enter on, I think. Oh, no. I knew there was one of these sides had mobs. Dang it. I didn't mean to wake up the dogs. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just kill everything. Maybe I'll drop a heal potion. I wouldn't mind. Another heal potion or two. Before we go see Ragnaros the Fire Lord himself. Um, anyway, I don't know. I just felt like playing this through. And I figured I might as well... Oh, nice. Heal potion. Oh, sweet. Two heal potions. I figured it'd be fun to just kind of share it with people. So I assume we're kind of coming towards the end here. Um, it would be awesome if we do... Dang it. I knew there was another spot here. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well, I've now aggroed all the mobs in the entire Molten Core because of my attempt to, like, oh, I'll just vanish and stealth through these things. That will speed things up and did not. Did not. I mean, I guess it sort of did, but all it really did was leave me surprised. We did get three heal potions doing this, which is great. Four. I'm just like a bonus one here. We're almost stacked on heal potions, which is nice. So 30 second cooldown kind of stinks. But I imagine it's going to be a multi-minute long fight. Yes, I spoke with Major Domo. He was not the most intelligent of the Flamewalkers, but he did get us to where we need to be. Ragnaros will be your toughest challenge. He, be careful when getting close to him, as he can burn nearby enemies. He'll also melt the very floor in the room. Every so often, Ragnaros will submerge and call core bearers to his aid. When he returns, continue your onslaught. If we are lucky, you'll... Oh, excuse me. You just might save the day. It's like... It's actually not that early, it's almost uh, 7 now in the morning, but still, like, ever since the time change, we went forward an hour, like, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I still have not adjusted, it seems like. Okay. I think I'm ready for this. I'm just, uh, think about what I want to do here. See, Major Drum always died. Good for him. Slash unsurprising. Oh, jeez. Oh, yikes. Those guys come out of nowhere. Sorry for the... Yo. This is kind of terrifying. Okay, at least his doggos chill out when he uh, does that. Oh god, how am I going to do this? Oh, the old ones stop doing their thing. That's good. That's good. Oh, they're all back now. <laughs> oh, man. That was a really unfortunate location of that uh, fire pit. Oh, no. I think I'm still going to die here. As soon as he respawns. Apparently I get like stuck on his corpse, that's interesting. Oh jeez. I just died. Oh man. Space to resurrect? Okay, cool. I have nine reses up there apparently. How do I re-engage him? Okay, how do I re-engage this guy? How much damage is going in the fire do me? 15 damage, right? Do me. To do to me. I'm almost tempted when I'm in combat to consider using the fire. Like if I get to the bottom right corner and run out there, I can maybe run around that ring that almost might be worth taking the damage to buy time.
Like, I'm just thinking about it. Ooh, okay. Oh, that fire gets me every time. It, it's very sudden. Like, it's not a lot of time on it. Oh, jeez. I used the mana potion, which I don't know if that was a good idea. Yeah, so I do have the ability... I realize now that he... That Ragnaros... Will, um... Oh, yikes. If I do it right, I can kind of, uh... St like, use, the, use Ragnaros' invisible corpse... To block them. Right? So that's kind of handy. I just haven't quite mastered that yet, but I think that's an important skill to keep in mind. What I should be doing is just focusing Ragnaros and not even worrying about these guys. And just like kind of stack them up so they're all roughly together. Like this. Alright. Okay. Got him. Quest log updated. What's next? You have defeated the Molten Core. Okay. Keros the Explorer. I will admit to you, my friend, that Tigul and Kalgorn did not venture down here. <laughs> what? They're far away in Northrend. Uh, but what happened down here was needed. Long ago, ages... Long ago, here's the Horde and Lions ventured here week after week and slaughtered Ragnaros and his brethren. So maybe this was released later. Like, this might have been 2000... I was saying 2008. Might have been 2009, 2010, after um, Wrath of the Lich King came out. Uh, Ragnaros and his brethren, but no more, and the denizens of the core have gone unopposed until now, and for this you have the thanks of all, thanks of all of Azeroth. I think that's it. I think that's the, <laughs> I think that's the finale. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to do. I do want to check, I actually emailed, I used the contact on the, um, the about, and emailed the guy that made this, I think it was a man, uh, emailed the person that made it. And I was just like, hey, is there any sort of... You should get moving. <laughs> is there any sort of like Easter eggs or hidden things you could tell me about in the game? I didn't get a reply, unfortunately, but I was really hoping they would reply to me with some sort of Easter egg or something. Um, anyway, if I remember, I'll put the download link to this in my video description. But this is World of Warcraft, the Molten Core for the, let's say, the Atari 2600. Um, it's actually very easy to install this. It's not even really an installation, just a small executable, which is always sketchy to download off the internet and run, but um, so far so good. So anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.